Hi there, my name is Hannah Davis. I have been with RIPL for around 11 months now. I started at RIPL as a creative specialist in the marketing department and since then I've been promoted to brand manager. My everyday role is so diverse, I'm given so much responsibility and I get to design every day which really is the dream. However, in my free time and my spare time, I like to kick back, take a step away from the screens, pick up a paintbrush and channel my emotions onto a canvas. I've been painting since I was very, very young, as cliche as it may sound. However, the beginning of lockdown and the pandemic really hit home to me. I got made redundant from a previous role and position. Little did I know that RIPL would swoop in and be my next home. And I started painting. I had this free time. I wanted to channel it into something I really, really enjoyed and brought me great happiness. And that was painting. I felt a sense of calm by doing it. I could make people happy, give them joy, and connect personal experiences and memories and give them a keepsake forever. So I started gifting this artwork to friends and family. And then I took the leap and set up a shop. So I think there's a lot of stigma around artists and what you have to do and be to call yourself an artist. So I hadn't taken this leap previously. However, I went for it and it, the response was truly remarkable. It's only small, however, it's my small little side hobby thing that makes me happy and brings me joy. I've had the pleasure of painting a lot of personal memories for people and these have been given as gifts. The joy and excitement that I see on people's faces when they open this artwork really makes it for me. So I create artwork to empower people and to bring them happiness and to depict these memories on canvas that they can keep forever. It makes me happy to do so. And I think if the pandemic's taught us anything, it is to enjoy the things that you love and to go for them and to take them on because why not? And your mental health is so important. You need to look after yourself and do what you love doing. It's been, it's been remarkable. I would say to anyone who has a creative bone in their body, or even if they feel like they don't, but they have a creative whim, if that's gardening, crochet, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but any of them, to so just go and do it, because the benefits it will have, and it'll obviously be different for every individual, but will be so big, and if that's mental well-being, just having some time to yourself, to relax, to do your own thing, whatever that may be, I really encourage to go and do it.